It's high tide on the Hudson River as staff from DEC's Division of Fish and Wildlife set out to collect fish in order to monitor potential contaminants in the water. It's all part of their mission to protect, maintain, enhance, and restore ecosystem health to support a diverse and productive fish and wildlife resource that allows a wide array of uses. On this day, biologist Kristen Dieterle and a team of her co-workers from the Bureau of Ecosystem Health are using a process called electrofishing. It's a pretty indiscriminate method of collection and it's non-invasive. So if we were to net the fish in certain types of nets, you know, it could be more harmful or stressful to the fish. The electrofishing boat just stuns them pretty momentarily. We can collect the fish we need and then the fish that we don't need recover within a, a matter of seconds to minutes. The idea is to collect a variety of fish to get a more accurate representation of the area they're sampling. Today when we went out collecting, um, we weren't looking for anything specific. Sometimes we go out with a list of fish and we say we're going to catch 10 yellow perch and 10 smallmouth bass and 10 common carp. Um, but today was a kind of an exploratory analysis uh, for contaminants, so we were just kind of collecting what was available. For Kristen, this was a calling dating back to her college years. My background is that I went to SUNY Cobleskill for fisheries and aquaculture. I got my bachelor's degree there. Um, and uh, then I jumped straight into the workforce. I wanted to get my feet wet, pun intended. Um, <laughs> and I started off as an inland fisheries management intern with DEC Region 1 in Long Island. Um, and I got to do all sorts of different fish management activities. But the one thing that struck me was we did some fish collections and we were, you know, prepping them to send them off to a lab. And I was like, what, what is this? What's happening here? And they said, oh, it's fish contaminants analysis. You know, these are used to make health advisories and to, to look at, you know, um, effects to wildlife and things like that. And that just lit up my world. I was so excited about it. I was like, tell me where this lab is. And I found out and I got my first, uh, kind of real job there. I love DEC, I love working with uh, the, the Bureau of Habitat, and so when a position opened up as a biologist, I did come back. Um, and now I feel like I can give even more um, to the process because I've seen where, where the data goes and, and how it's used. Once back on shore, Kristen and her crew processed the fish. You ready? Yes. 42. Six, four, two. They weigh and measure the fish, then attach jaw tags, which assigns them a number that stays with them throughout their analytical life. From there, they place each fish in separate bags to avoid any potential cross-contamination, and then freeze them until it's time to take them to the lab for analysis. The results are sent back to us. We verify that they're accurate and that there's no problems, and then we send them on to the Department of Health or um, EPA or whatever project they're they're going to be used for. Results that show contamination could lead to fish consumption advisories, contaminated site cleanups, or other actions. Biologists will also sample after action was taken to help determine if a remedy was successful. The purpose of the fish contaminants uh, program and doing all of these collections is to effectively monitor the habitat because fish are excellent indicators of contamination within a habitat. And from there, you can use that information to protect human health and to protect the health of the wildlife and the habitat. Because if you find a problem, then you can work towards fixing it. For more videos and information about DEC staff and their important mission to protect the environment, go to our YouTube channel or visit our website www.dec.ny.gov.